What is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? Welcome back here today to another Madden 20 rebuild and today we are doing another rebuild from a top 10 player in the 2020 draft. We are doing a Justin Herbert LA Chargers rebuild. So we've done a Joe Burrow, we've done a Tua Taco Viola, we've done a Trevor Lawrence, we've done a Tom Brady. Now we are here today with a Justin Herbert rebuild. So Herbert was obviously the third quarterback drafted in the 2020 draft. So we'll see how he does for us today. If you guys want to see more Madden 20 rebuilds on the channel, don't forget to drop a thumbs up. So yeah, let's get into this Chargers rebuild. So we do have a pretty solid O-line. We have Brian Bulaga, who is 30 years old. I don't know if I want to possibly move him for like a first round pick just because if he'll start to regress. He does have three years remaining, so I could trade him in the offseason if we see like a notable regression. Forrest Lamp is a former first round pick, but he's not very good here. As you can see, he is a 69 overall. So I, yeah, we're going to probably need a guard upgrade, but he still has a star development, so we'll see what happens. Uh, we have Mike Pouncey, who is very old, or no, he's the same as Buagi. He's 30 years old. He could be somebody we could trade as well. Does, is he in the final year of his contract? If so, then we might move on from him. No, he's got two years remaining, so eh, we'll see what we want to do for him. Uh, and then we have Trey Turner coming over, him, or try to, Trey Turner, I think it's still Trey Turner. Uh, there's uh, this guy, and then there's the shortstopper and fielder for the uh, Washington Nationals. He came over, I believe, from Carolina, and he should be pretty solid for us. Three years left on his uh, deal, so he'll be our right guard. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll need a right tackle, Trey Pipkins. Uh, he is going to be a second-year player, but we'll see how he pulls up for us. Hunter Henry, we're fine there. Virgil Green, yeah, we're good at tight end. We're good at tight end. Hunter Henry's a beast. He went to Arkansas, right? Yeah, he did go to Arkansas. Okay, so now receivers, we're also pretty solid there. Keenan Allen is how old? 27. Yeah, we're chilling with him. And then we have Mike Williams, former first-round pick here. Um, and he should be fine as well for us. So we'll look for that third guy because we really don't have it uh, at the moment. Joe Reed, he was their fifth round pick out of Virginia. If he could develop into something for us, cool. If not, it's whatever. So, and then obviously we have Justin Herbert at QB and we'll see how he develops. Yeah, that's not what Justin Herbert looks like uh, or looks like, but it is what it is when you tell with these rosters. We do have Joshua Kelly, who I believe was their fourth round pick. Uh, we'll see how he could do for us. And then because Austin Eckler... I don't know if he'll be the, the guy here. Is he a free agent at the end of this year? Please don't tell me he is. Mm, okay, we could look to move Eckler. We could look to move Eckler. As this year, I don't really plan on doing all that well. We probably need a new fullback. Defense, it's not that bad. We do have Nasir Adderley here, who will be a second-year player uh, from Delaware. And then we have Derwin James, who's one of the best safeties in the league already. And yeah, so we're good probably at safety for now. I don't need to worry about it too much. We have Yuchenna Nuwasu here as our left outside linebacker, and I think he'll develop into a fine player. So I don't think we're going to worry about left outside linebacker too much. Drew Tranquil, he could be solid. He is a 78, but he's 24 already. We'll see about him. But then we have Kenneth Murray, the first round pick uh, out of Oklahoma. And yeah, we'll see. He was drafted, I believe, 24th overall. And he should develop into being our top middle linebacker at one point. And yeah, right outside linebacker, Nick uh, Vigil. We could probably look to upgrade at some point from him. Joey Bosa, as our left end, one of the best pass rushers in the NFL. I don't think we'll need to worry about that too much. We do run a 4-3. When ball, Joseph, how old is he? He's 30. Did they just sign him over from Minnesota in this offseason? I believe so. Hmm, okay. He could be a potential trade guy. Could be one. Uh, and then also on the defensive line, we have Mark Ingram, or uh, Melvin Ingram, excuse me. And he's 30 as well, so we'll see what we want to do with these two. And then we have Casey Hayward Jr., uh, Desmond King, and then we have Chris Harris Jr. So we have a great cornerback core. Uh, Chris Harris Jr., I think, will be fine. But is he only on a one-year deal or is he on a two-year deal? Uh, he's on a three-year deal. Okay. Jason Barrett is on the Niners now, so we won't have him so it's a good roster. It's a good roster. It's not like it's one of the worst teams in the league. And we have uh, Marcus Bagley or Bagley. Yeah. And then uh, our punter. I don't know his name. It's Ty Long. Okay. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make any trades. I might. So bear with me for now. All right. So we traded Austin Eckler, Justin Jackson in our sixth round pick in the actual 2022 draft for the Arizona Cardinals 2021 first round pick. Yeah, we just gutted our, our running back course. So Joshua Kelly is going to be our top running back this year, and that's fine. I don't really need a good one, and I think that is going to be it for me now. There might be a midseason trade, but I think all the guys that are at 30 years old, uh, but they have multiple year contracts, so I'm going to trade them in the offseason. So yeah, let's just simulate the rest of the season. I'll probably sign just a, a backup running back, but I want to see what Kelly could do. Let's see who's the best backup running back we can get, or just an interesting one. No, give me Alex Collins, former Baltimore 
uh, Ravens. So he'll be the backup. Kelly will be the starter. I'll see you guys at the midseason if I have any trades. If not, I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. All right, guys. So we end the 2020-21 season with a 4-12 and record. So obviously not very good, and we wanted to be better. But, you know, I'll help out our draft pick, and then we can look to draft some guys to add to the team. 3,500 yards. 17 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. I mean, it's not very good. It's not very good. Running the ball, Joshua Kelly wasn't great either, but I just want to try him out there. Uh, Keenan Allen was solid. Mike Williams did what he could. Same with Hunter Henry, who we re-signed. Joe Reed did not too bad for his rookie season. Blocking-wise, oh, Balaga. Interesting. Now I might move him in the offseason. We'll see. Drew Tranquil, okay, 130 tackles. Not bad. There's Murray, sacks-wise. Bosa only with three and a half. Maybe we should go to a three, four. I'm not sure. Uh, Tranquil also had four picks. Casey Hayward had three. All right, not a great year whatsoever. Let's just get here into the off season, where you could see the Chicago Bears in the top left beat the Denver Broncos by 10 in the Super Bowl, 31-21. So I don't think I'm going to bring back anybody here, really. Um, we could probably even get a better punter than Ty, uh, Ty Long. So I don't think I'm going to bring back any of those guys. Uh, KJ Hill? No. Um... Isaac Rochelle, Michael Davis, I'm intrigued, just, nah, but we have three really good corners, and do I really want to pay, uh, probably near four mil a year for a, uh, with the signing bonus for a fourth corner now, and then Alex Collins, definitely not, so let's get here into the offseason, or I should say into free agency, where we have 29 million in cap space, hmm, uh, yeah, Linval Joseph's down to an 84. We might make some trades, actually, before free agency. We also have picks 3 and 12 in this draft, which is pretty solid. All right, so I traded Brian Bulaga and a 5th and 7th round pick to the Carolina Panthers for the 18th pick in the draft. We also traded uh, Linval Joseph and Denzel Perriman, who's our third string middle linebacker, to the LA Rams for their first round pick, which is 21st overall in the draft. So we make a trade between the LA teams. Now we have four first round picks. I don't know if I'm going to trade anybody else. I don't even think I would move on from Chris Harris Jr. Just because he's still a 90 and I can get probably two more good years out of him. I don't know if I should move Melvin Ingram. That is somebody I'm definitely interested in moving. But like, I only would if I'm getting like a top 10 pick maybe. Let's see. If Melvin Ingram has one year left on his deal, then I'll trade him. But if not, then I'll keep him around. Yeah, he's got one year left on his remaining salary. And I don't know if I'm going to want to pay him next year. So I'm probably going to trade him, and if I can get any first-round pick for him, I probably will do it. Alright, so we traded Melvin Ingram, our like fifth-string corner, and our sixth-round pick to the Bengals for the 14th pick in the draft. So now I believe we have five first-round picks. The only I only thought about making one more potential trade, and we are kind of clearing house here, is trading Mike Pouncey just because he's 31, and he's really not that good. So I don't know if a team would give me a second for him. Like, we already made a trade with Arizona, and I know I'm not going to get a first for him, but like, would they throw a second at me for Mike Pouncey? probably will so honestly i think we should do that like i don't mind trading away my late round draft picks because i just never they never work out for me so we actually only have four first round picks oh i thought we had five might be um okay that's oh did no yeah we only have four first round picks like if i gave you my seventh round pick and my pouncy for your second round pick it's very close and then i'll throw in my fifth rounder next year so i think this will get it done oh, you're kidding me okay um i will give you well, my seventh this year, did I already throw that in? Okay, wow, that is really close. All right, so we traded Mike Pouncey, Virgil Green, and Jared Ledbetter here for a second round pick to the Cardinals. So we have plenty of draft capital. Uh, the cap hits might not allow us to have, yes, yeah, some cap space here. So we're going to probably be pretty bad next year, but I do want to get a new punter. Uh, I Yeah, I'll take Brian quickly. Mm, he's, all not, he's not that good, but whatever. It's a punter. I don't really need to freak out that much. Let's just give him a three-year deal. Uh, it actually says we have 52 and a half million in cap space now, so uh, we can make a move like to get somebody big. Like Kareem Hunt would be kind of huge. Clowney to replace Ingram would also be kind of huge. All right, so I just offered Chris Jones and Jadavion Clowney pretty huge deals, and I'm gonna also try to sign Kareem Hunt as well. I'm gonna give him a little bit less than what he wants, but hopefully it's still signable with him. So this contract right here will be 69 total points. Go figure. And is there any other lineman that I could just offer a solid contract to? DJ Humphreys is only 26. But I don't want to get into a bidding war for him. Uh, no left guards. Centers we desperately need. That's something we're going to have to visit in the draft. Ron, Ron Weary, but he's 31. Like I said, I don't want to get into bidding wars for guys that aren't really worth it. So let's see. I don't think we're going to get both Chris Jones and Jadavion Clowney. But you never know. Maybe we'll get at least one, hopefully. And we do get Jadavion and we don't get Chris Jones, which is fine by me. Uh, yeah, so Clowney's going to be our right end, which is pretty nice. We'll have Clowney and joey bosa and we are not getting cream hunt unfortunately i might sign devonta freeman to like a one-year deal 
Yeah, we could do that. Why not? Let's give Freeman a... Well, let's give him a two-year deal and see if he signs with it. Or signs with us. Honestly, I'll give him a three-year deal. And if he just doesn't play well, we could trade him. So, let's give him that. And could I give out a third receiver type contract? Oh, I forgot to make Denzel Mims a four-year player or a four-year contract. David Moore. All right, we could go after Kendrick Bourne. I don't want to get into a bidding war. You know what? I'll give... I'll give Denzel Mims. We'll give him a two-year deal. Not worth a lot. Eh, he's not really a great slot guy. What about Kendrick Bourne? Not not great either. So we might just wait on another receiver. As we are going to be pretty good next year. So yeah, we'll just save the cap space. And we'll just advance it. So we do get Devonta Freeman right before the NFL draft. Alright, so let's start the draft. We could use, like, obviously maybe another receiver. Stuff like that. But we are picking. Uh, we have, like, five picks in this draft. Correct? Uh, or in this first round, excuse me, not in this draft. We have probably near double digits in this draft. Let me see. So we have 3, 12, 14, 18, 21. I swore we had five, but I'm chipping. Oh, no, we do have five. Okay, yeah, we have five first round picks. I'm dumb. And then we have two second round picks, a third, a fourth, and a seventh, which is pretty nice. So we need definitely... Uh, can I look at my depth chart in this menu? Yes, we can. Okay, or the lineup. So let's see. So we're going to need... Left tackle, center, right tackle. Gotcha. So guards we could roll with. I'll roll with lamp. Why not? Yeah, so we need center, left tackle, right tackle. And on defense, we need D tackle. We could use another right outside linebacker as well. So yeah, let's go into this draft. Let's simulate to our next pick. Don't tell me Davis goes the D tackle. Mm, there he goes. That's the guy I wanted. Uh, Jordan Davis and Xavier Thomas goes, who I didn't really need a left end. So that's fine with me. Uh, we could go after Cade Mays here. Crap, I really wanted Jordan Davis. Oh, uh, let's see here. Scouted. All right, this is going to be a reach, but I'm going to take Cade Mays with the fourth pick just because I don't know if he'll be there at 12. And we need to tackle really badly. So, yeah, that's what we ended up going with. Now, let's see who's going to be here at 12 for us. A um, right guard just went. Okay, so actually, we could just go to available. Cesar Ruiz. I'm pretty sure he was drafted by the Saints in real life, but I guess there'll be two Cesar Ruizes in this. Zamir White, we don't need a running back, or it's just not worth drafting one. I don't know why uh, ooh, we could go after Walter Grant, who looks pretty solid. We are picking at 14 as well. So is there a chance that like Cesar Ruiz could be there? Definitely. All right. So let's take uh, Walter Grant. He'll just be our left outside linebacker. We have bigger needs, but I think he's going to be solid. Ugh. All right. 19th and true tower. That's not bad, though. If he has star development, we could be chilling there. And please don't take Cesar Ruiz. Thank you. So let's make our pick here. We'll take our center, and then we just need a right tackle. And then we will kind of have the O-line figured out. So Ruiz... He's, he's a fifth-round talent, but he was great in the combine. His attributes look good. Let's see. Is this going to be a dumb move by me? Yeah, I'm an idiot. When it says fifth-round talent, I should actually listen to that. All right, it took Calvin Ashley here at 18. He's all right. Nothing special. I'm not really doing all that well in this draft. All right, so I took Jack Anderson here. He's a 71 overall, 27th in true talent. I took him at 21, or true value. So that wasn't definitely the worst first-round pick I've had. So we are picking here early in the second round as Amir White just went. Trevor Lawrence is still on the board. Do I just freaking draft him and then trade him? Probably would be a good idea. So I took Tyler Shelvin at D-tackle, 72 in true value, we took him at 35. He's a 68. Maybe he could develop near to an 80 by the end of this if we focus on him. So I'm not saying that's the worst pick ever. And then I'll show you guys my last second round pick. Then I'll see you guys at the end here. So I don't know who I want to go here. Uh, we could Do I just try freaking Lawrence and then look to trade him? Honestly, that might be the best decision here over just like kind of missing out. I mean, I don't. I think we're fine with this year out early. I think we are like, we have other holes on this team. We could take Taron Vincent and then just have like a D tackled like, uh, competition i don't know if i would go my third receiver here jason ademiola I, there's no like for sure guys here i mean ricky pearson looks beast but like we just he looks like good but i don't need to waste a round pick or a second round pick here on a guy and we just signed um devonta freeman so yeah none of these d tackles look super promising i might take Kyrie campbell here and hope he's solid 68 all right whatever all right so here's the draft recap it's not great with five first round picks, honestly, but I think it's doable. The Caesar Ruiz one was super dumb by me, so just forget that ever happened. This was the, and then we also took Austin Jackson in the third round. I just thought he could have been solid. I know he's a real player and was drafted by the Dolphins in round one, but there hasn't been like a really good updated 2020, uh, 2021 draft class that doesn't have 2021 guys or 2020 guys, excuse me, in it. All right, so let's see our team here for year two. Uh, that was a long off season, I would say. So, I think we're not going to be as good this year. We have Freeman, Kelly, Reed, Allen, Williams. Okay, we still have Hunter Henry, Austin Jackson. Is he the best option? Yeah, I guess, because then we'll have a lot of Ruiz there. Why not? Trey Turner. Cade Mays and Jack Anderson was his name. Yeah, so that will be the O-line. It's definitely new. We added four rookies there. 
I don't know if it's best to have, you know what, honestly, I'm going to put Lamp here, and then we're going to have Jack Anderson as our right tackle. Why not? So, because I think Lamp could still be serviceable. Out are we there? Uh, we're going to put Grant here. Yeah, we're going to put Grant there. Uh, Murray will actually go in front of Tranquil, but they'll both be there. <sighs> Maybe I should go to a, uh, I might go to a 3-4 at the end of the year. Um, or, yeah, I might go to a 3-4. We got Nuisu there, Derwin James, King, Bosa, Jones, Tory. Okay. Uh... Honestly, I'm going to switch to a 3-4. So we were actually respectable this year. As we go 7-9 and nine at the end of year 2, I did end up going to a 3-4. I think it was the 3-4 under. So this is what the defense looked like. I wanted to give Shelvin the time there, but maybe I should have went with Tory. I don't know. I just wanted to see if a rookie could have developed. Um, and yeah, the D-line like, is really good. Like Obviously, besides the tackle, corners are great. I brought back... Uh, Desmond King, Joey Bosa, and Keenan Allen, they were all going to be pending free agents. I honestly like this defense a lot besides D-Tackle. And maybe we could upgrade free safety, but I think mainly going into the offseason, we could look to get another receiver. We could look maybe for a better better running back. And then O-Line. Pretty much, we could touch O-Line, but we Cade Mays is going to be a 77. Lamb's going to be a 73. Turner, 84. Anderson, 73. Like After we upgrade these players, they'll actually be somewhat respectable it's not gonna be the worst one in the nfl but it's not gonna be the best i'm still looking to upgrade cesar ruiz definitely but let's check out the stats from this past season seven and nine is definitely in the right direction herbert was better this year he went from 17 tds and 10 interceptions to 27 and 11 so we went up seven tds and no he went up 10 tds and went up one interception and he went up like 300 yards as well devonta freeman was all right he wasn't bad might move him now. Might move him. Joe Reed was actually the number one receiver. Go figure. Uh, the, what, fifth round pick. He had nine touchdowns. Or he was the fourth round pick this year. I forgot. Uh, there's Henry, Allen, and Williams. All there. Blocking, who was bad. Mays and Jack Anderson, the two rookies. Not very good. Kenneth Murray was a beast. There's King, Charles, uh, Chris Harris Jr. Sacks wise a for Clowney. Four for Bosa. Four for Justin Jones. Four for Tillery. Yeah, maybe I should have played Tillery. He's still young. Yeah, that was dumb over the rookies. I, I regret that. And then here are the interceptions. A bunch of guys with ones. And then we got seven for Chris Harris Jr. And four for Desmond King. So let's go here to the offseason now. And wow! <laughs> I guess I forgot to put relocation off. They relocated us. I didn't know the CPU could just do that to me or the owner did that to me. What are we called now? We're called the LA Red Dragon. We're the San Diego Red Dragons. Well, that was a turn. All right. You know what? It's kind of interesting. We went back to San Diego. Who do I want to bring back here? We'll bring back Michael Bagley. We only have 27 mil in cap space, which isn't great. Um, Forrest Lamp. Dan, isn't Dan Feeney a former first round pick as well? I'm not going to... Chris Wormley, isn't he on the Steelers now? Yeah, I'm not going to go after anybody here and, like, really cry about it if they leave. I'll look to bring back Forrest Lamp, but I want to have 28 mil and try to sign at least two starters here. 27 mil. Wish we had a little bit more than that. Definitely. Trent Williams would be a guy we could definitely use. A lot of good safeties here, but we don't need a safety, unfortunately. Uh, I mean, Chris Carson could have been a guy we could have signed. Uh, receiver... John Ross, I mean, I think we're fine with receiver, honestly. Uh, we are just looking at uh, O-line, Trent Williams, Alejandro Villanueva. We could look to sign one of these guys. Eh, I'm fine at left tackle. Definitely fine at left tackle. Guard, we could sign Colesio Semele. Okay. Center, Connor McGovern, Mike Pouncey. We could look at one of those guys. John Runyon Jr. This seems like a smart decision. Maybe put him at left tackle. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to sign him. He's a scheme fit as well because we do have Trey Turner there, but let's look to sign him. We'll make sure he comes here. And then at center, I might look to sign um, McGovern. How much can I give him? Okay, let's give him like that because if we could just have a respectable O-line, I think we could be pretty solid next year. And then D-tackle, Sheldon Rankins. Oh, that would be nice. Okay, if I poured out all my money for rankings and i'll probably not bring back or offer the deal to mcgovern we'll do that so 101 total points hopefully he signs with us now mcgovern we won't sign you but we'll go after john runyon jr yeah we won't go after mcgovern and let's hope that we can get sheldon rankings because that would actually be a huge signing and i think complete our defense no why would oh my god he rejected us come on why would you we gave you 10 points higher than the next oh my god he signed with the pats F you, dude. F you. Honestly, go, go, go F yourself, man. Oh, my God. Well, that just sucks. All right. Uh, D tackles. Who's the best? Oh, my God. Ah, that sucks so much. We could maybe make a trade for one. Like, I don't mind trading my first round pick for one. 
Yeah, so, ah, uh, and McGovern, I'm sure he got signed already. Did he get signed? Because then I can't even go after him. Did he sign? No, he didn't sign, so let's try to steal him from Miami. Oh, I would have loved Sheldon Rankins. I've needed that he tackle so badly. If we don't get him now, and we're eight higher, or we have eight more points than his second higher deal. Oh my god. I hate Madden for agency. Why can't it be like 2K? All right, so our two biggest needs are probably center and D tackle. I don't know if my first round pick can get me a good D tackle. I'm sure it could at 13. Or you know what? I'd be willing to trade next year's first round pick. I'll trade next year's first and this year's third if I could get a good D tackle. All right, so we traded uh, somebody that's a scheme fit for us are next year's first round pick, which I'm with, and then our third round pick this year for Vita Vea, who's an 87 overall. He's like 23 years old, and we just found our D tackle. So I am definitely cool with that. Let's get here to the drift where we're going to pretty much spend our first and second round picks probably on, I would say, the O line, right? Like, I don't, I think we're fine at receiver. Devonta Freeman, though, I don't know if we should look to move him, but I I'm fine at right guard. Uh, Runyon could probably play left guard. Anderson could probably play tackle. Maze is fine. I don't know. Uh, I think we're going to go after O-line here. We, if there's a good running back, I might target a running back. Who knows? But let's see here. Let's pause the draft. Let's go to our pick here at 13, I believe. Yep, at 13. And let's see who's on the board here to take. A uh, running back right away, Trey Sanders, and he looks pretty good. I mean, if I did that, then I would probably trade Freeman. And of course, there's a good D tackle like once um, I already trade for one. But is there any good? Mm, so we could go Creed Humphrey, who looks very good. And I don't have any other first round pick. Yeah, let's go Creed Humphrey. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. 78 overall. Let's go. Second in true value. Welcome to the Red Dragons, baby. That is what I'm talking about. All right, we have our second round pick as well. I'm sure. Yeah, that running back won't be here. Honestly, I wouldn't mind a trade. All right, so we are going to be sending Devonta Freeman back to the Falcons. We are trading that Devonta, our second round pick this year, and our second round pick next year for Todd Gurley, who I think would be an upgrade at running back. So the O-line is going to be iffy next year, but I think we can make the playoff. All right, so pretty much the only respectable guy we drafted is Creed Humphrey, but he's a 78 overall already. That is so hype. All right, so let's look at our roster going into season number three. So on the offense, it's respectable now. So like we have Reed as the slot receiver. We have Keenan Williams. We have Todd Gurley. And then on the O-line, we're going to have Mays, Turner, Humphreys, Runyon Jr. And then I want I want Anderson as our right tackle. I, I think he'll be best there. Well, I don't know if that's even a good idea. But I think if we move him to right tackle, he can probably be better than what we have now. Let's see. Yeah, he's a 73, better than anyone we have now. Okay, so that is going to be our O-line. It's not great, but it's definitely respectable. We have Hunter Henry there, and our defense, I think, is really good. Yeah, I think our defense is actually great. With Murray, Tranquil, Grant, who we drafted in the first round uh, in the first year. Nuusu, we have Derwin James. This year, Adelie, a little bit of a weak spot, but he's still solid. Uh, Desmond King's actually the number one. Hayward's regressed. All right, so yeah, let's hope that this team can do well because we're going to have some free agents at the end of this year, and Hayward's already regressing. How old is he? 31. Yeah, but this D-line is great. We have our special teams. Uh, let's hope that this team can make the playoffs for the first time in the video. All right, boys, so we end the season. This would be the 2022-2023 season, I believe, and we go 11-5. We tied the Broncos for the number one uh, team in the AFC West, but we have the tiebreaker, and we have a bye uh, during wildcard weekend, which is sweet. Justin Herbert was amazing at his first year as a Red Dragon. 35 TDs, 8 interceptions, 4,100 yards. Rushing-wise, Todd Gurley was our best running back by far so far in the video. He was very good. Receiving, we had two 1,000-yard receivers. Joe Reed in the slot, Keenan Allen, there's Mike Williams, and Hunter Henry, both having solid and respectable seasons. Uh, maybe not as much for Mike Williams and Henry, but still solid. Mays gave up the most sacks, but you know what? It's definitely an improvement from year one to year three. I like it. Defensive-wise, our defense-wise, we didn't get anybody over 100 tackles, which is kind of a shame, but 10.5 sacks for Clowney, 7.5 for Bosa, which is a video high, 6.5 for Tranquil, and then interceptions, 5 for King, 3 for Erwin James, 3 for Casey Hayward. All right, so who are we taking on 
in the divisional round. It's the Buffalo Bills, so I don't know. Uh, who's, yeah, Josh Allen is their quarterback, obviously. Uh, I don't know if Frank Corey's still their running back, but now, who do he sign with in real life? Do he sign with the Jets? I forget, but yeah, can we go to the conference championship? Come on, Herbert, you had a great season. Let's go! Let's go! We win 27-20. Clowney had two sacks. The Offensive player of the weeks for both AFC and NFC were running backs. Herbert was phenomenal. Allen wasn't that good whatsoever. He threw a pick. Todd Gurley was respectable. Yeah, five yards to carry. Thank you. Jafar Armstrong, our backup running back, got in the end zone. Receiving-wise, Joe Reed. He's been a beast. Mike Williams got in the end zone. Okay. Blocking-wise, Jack Anderson, two sacks. Trey Turner, one. Defense. Let's see. Sacks for Clowney, two. One for Justin Jones. And who got the interception? It was Chris Harris Jr. So we're taking on the Texans here in the conference championship. Can we please go on to the Super Bowl here? Come on, Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert versus Deshaun Watson, please. I'm going to close my eyes. Please tell me we are going to the Super Bowl. Please, please. No! Damn it!